Hey, this is Mr. Price here. I'm your horticulture instructor. Today, we're gonna talk about two different types of plants. Uh, one being a deciduous tree and a, a evergreen plant. All right, so I'm standing here in my lawn, uh, in my yard here in Decatur, Georgia, and I'm standing under a Japanese maple tree. Let's see here. A Japanese maple tree is a deciduous um, ornamental tree, which it is grown for its beautiful leaves and its, and its growth patterns. Um, so I'm going to talk about what happens in the tree and the three different parts of the tree. One part of the tree is the crown. The second part of the tree is the trunk or the, uh, the trunk of the stem. And then the last part of the plant is the roots. All right, let's talk about what happens in the crown. There are two major functions in the crown. One is photosynthesis and one is transpiration. Let's talk about transpiration real quick. Transpiration is just like when you sweat on a hot day, the same thing happens with a plant or a tree. Uh, with transpiration, there are some cells in the leaf called stomas or stomatas. They're, they're kidney-shaped cells um, that we call them guard cells. What happens is on a very hot day, those stomatas or the stomas will open up and water vapor comes out through the leaves. That is the process of transpiration, the loss of water vapor through the leaves. The second part that takes place in the crown is photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process in which light plus chlorophyll, which is the green pigment of the leaf, mixes with sunlight and it makes a, a glucose or the end product is glucose. Glucose is a sugar which gives the plant energy and in order for it to grow. All right, there are two parts in the stem that you wanna remember, actually three parts on the tree. You have a pith, which is the center part of the tree. You have the xylem tissue, which takes uh, food and nutrients from the root to the crown and you have phloem, which takes it uh, from the crown to the roots. All right, so xylem, xy means to go up, floor, floor means to go down. So xylem takes water and nutrients and sugar from the roots to the crown, phloem uh, takes it from the crown to the roots. Uh, so that, those are the two things that happens in the, in the uh, stem. And then the roots, there are three major functions, storage, absorption, and support. Storage, it stores water and nutrients um, that, that comes from the photosynthesis. It takes up water through the nodules in the soil. Uh, as far as uh, that's storage, absorb, well, uh, absorption is what that is. Uh, support, it keeps the plants from falling over. So again, three major functions of a tree. You have the crown, you have the stem, you have the roots. Remember, crown, photosynthesis and transpiration takes place. Stem, xylem and phloem tissue. And in the roots, anchorage, storage and absorption. All right, now I'm gonna walk over here. Um, this is a camellia. Camellia is a bush. Uh, it's an ornamental plant. Uh, it's grown for its beautiful flowers. Uh, this is a camellia sasanqua. There are two types of camellia. You have a camellia japonica, which means big or grand, uh, means that the blooms are big, and the sasanqua has the very small leaves. This one here is a camellia sasanqua. It's an evergreen tree, um, I mean evergreen shrub. It will grow in the fall. Uh, and start blooming. Um, and so in this one, the same thing. The top of the plant is called the crown, the stems uh, on an ornamental plant. You have your stems, you have your leaves, and you have your buds. And this one here has buds, which means it's getting ready to flower. Um, and again, it usually flowers twice a year, okay? Uh, and then you have the root system in the bottom. So the same thing that I mentioned before, photosynthesis occurs in the top of the tree. Uh, transpiration occurs through the leaves, through something called stomata or stomates. And then lastly, with your root system, uh, the three major functions there is anchorage, storage, and absorption, okay? So just remember the uh, really key terms today, things you wanna remember is photosynthesis, transpiration, xylem, phloem, pith, root system and the three functions again anchorage absorption and storage those are the things that you'll see again on your um, test on friday so if you have any questions please feel free to email me okay all right this is mr price signing off thank you